Performer Bros ever, baby! Let's go! Let's go! I think the world of this deck. Why? Because it's a control pendulum deck that could play 15 hand traps if it wants to. So if control pendulum sounds like something in your alley, something that pendulums are not known for, then this is the video for you. Perform Pal Zephyr. So stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll discuss the combo and the concept behind the deck, and you guys will love it. If you guys are ready for the video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes as well. I want you guys to do me a massive favor and yourselves a massive favor. If you guys want to get better at pendulums, go check out my Patreon down in the description below. It's starting right now, doing 15% off of yearly memberships and amazing perks as well for all yearly members. You get a free playmat on entry, an exclusive Patreon playmat. So go check that out and get coached by the Pen God one-on-one -on -one and group coaching weekly. So go check that out right now. And with that being said, it's time to showcase. It's time to showcase, boys. Control Pendulums. Perform Call Zephra with the inclusion of Joker. Let's go! <laughs> So I want you guys to look at this very closely. It's so beautiful. If you're going second, you have Nibiru Veiler. That's an auto win against so many decks. You play 10 in the main deck, side into 20, post side deck. This is all you do. So all you do is you Pendulum, a Zephyr Nui, and a Pendulum Perform Ball Sorcerer. If they drilled me there, I don't give a fuck. You have hand traps. You have a perfect hand. You don't go nag at all. You don't lose anything. What are they going to do? Ash my, my Zephyr Nui? I don't give a fuck. And what the idea behind it is that these two engines not only give you a negate each, Sorcerer gives you a negate by itself, and Sephir Nui gives a negate by itself. And then you just play two, you play with two cards, and you could have three or four hand traps easily. I'm going to search Joker with Sorcerer, I'm going to get a free search because you don't need the field spell anymore. That's why the Synergize is amazing. And Zephyr Nui is going to give me a search afterwards, by with Nine Pillar of the Yang Zing, it's going to pop, it's going to negate their own card, like a counter trap. And then it's going to get me an ad from Zephyr Nui because it'll destroy my Zephyr Nui on the field. So, what does this do? Now I'm going to use Joker to search a follow-up of Harmonizing Magician. Which I'm going to use for the following turn. And now, Sorcerer did all this, by the way. I'm just going to XYZ into the best rank 4 against my opponent. Let's say Baguska. So now, the idea behind it is he's not playing through a Floodgate in Baguska. This could be Dweller, this could be Tornado Dragon, depending on the matchup. And then, Joker gave me the follow-up. So Sorcerer gave me the follow-up in Harmonizing. And then the Zephyr Nui is going to give me a follow-up because when it gets destroyed, it gets me Zephyr Providence. So I have two follow-ups that I get with these cards. So each of them give me a free negate and a free follow-up. And they just go right back in the next deck. And Sorcerer goes right in the graveyard for Selene to bring back. Just to trigger again. This deck's fucking insane. I actually dueled on stream with this deck and had around six matches with it. So if you guys want to go check, if you guys want to see a video involving six matches with control pendulums right here let me know in the comments if we get 20 comments saying i want to see the five match video with control pendulums 20 comments that says that i will post a video this week uh, i will go on every duel i had with this since the ban list and showcase you guys it'll probably be like a 30 minute video but that's fine so no deck in the world is playing through baguska uh, nibiru counter trap valor and this could be Dwell, this could be Tornado Dragon, anything. And then you're drawing for turn, and you're just doing the exact same thing. You wasted one card in your extra deck, you could do this play forever. You could do this for 10 turns. That's the beauty of this deck. And it OTKs as well, because you play double or nothing. So going second, instead of Baguska, after you bait your opponents, maybe by turn two, you this is a Utopia to kill the, the Kagari or the Shizuku that stays on the field, that's under 2,000 attack. It kills the Salamandre Wolf that stays in the field. Utopia Double is amazing, this format. This format, there's so many decks that enter the monster under 2,000 attack. And the most beautiful thing of this deck is every single turn, you play through Nibiru. Zephyr Nui, one summon. Both Performing Palace, that's three summons. Baguska, four summons, pass. You never summon more than five. Very, very, very good. I'm going to show you guys another replay now. So, of course, it's Control Pendulums. But the beauty of Control Pendulums is it can explode at any moment that you want. If you want to OTK them, you can OTK them freely. So here, if you want to play around Droll, you can pen call first. But I don't really care for Droll at the like the, the, the way this is set up. And I just want to showcase you guys instead. So the best thing instead would it be to Oracle of Zephyr search first. And then pen call it away because Sorcerer will be able to get a free ad. Uh, so then after this, I would search and then look at this. 
if you're trying to OTK them, uh, you go for harmonizing, but I'm not, I'm, I don't want to OTK. I want this to be control pendulums, control. So instead of summoning the harmonizing here, I'm actually just going to keep the harmonizing in my hand and I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep it in my hand. I'm going to use Zephyr Nui to search nine pillars. And this is just the exact same combo. Every hand does it. The exact same combo as the last one. It's so simple. This is the easiest combo ever. I could have put harmonizing to apply more pressure and instead of going for dweller, do some plays where I, I bait a, a, a lot of his cards utilizing harmonizing the poison the zephyr nui and just bait a lot of his cards and then finally end on the two level fours i go utopia double and kill him i could do that if i want to but what i would prefer in this scenario is set up a follow-up i have big negates i have a dweller i have a counter trap and i have an ash he's not playing through those three and then i just i kill him next turn so that's how i want to play this deck and that's the best way to play it control pendulums don't blow your low turn one there's no point especially for a deck that plays 10 hand traps in the main deck it slides into 20. so now i'm going to showcase you guys the deck list this is the deck list of control pendulums main decking the 10 hand traps i do think we're going to play two failure in the future because in the scenario where you want a needle fiber this is how you otk easily with axis code talker in combination with the double or nothing and utopia double you you go into 18 hand traps here and they're just so good it's just so good it seems like you might brick on the last 10 hand traps, but the beauty of this deck is this deck plays with two cards. If you open one of your ways into Zephyrath, if you open one of your ways into Zephyrath, that's literally all you need. Because you get low scale via Pen Call or by Joker, Poison, Sorcerer, Duelist Alliance, and need if you really need B, you can put one of these in there as well. You play these two Zephyrahs because you need a generic level 4 Zephyrah as well as a generic scale 1, and sometimes you want one of them to be a Synchro. This opens up plays for Dragster uh, and, and, and Zeta and, and these plays. It opens up a lot of plays. You can remove Zeta if you want for a Synchro 8. But Savage Dragon is not good in this deck uh, for Harmo because you don't have links in the graveyard ever. But this deck, I'm telling you guys, it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. As far as Droll is concerned, if you really want, you could remove Prosperity from the deck to make it better through Droll. And, and don't play 3 Pen Call. The 1 Pen Call is just there in the scenario if you really need Duelist Alliance to search a low, search a low scale. I don't even like want it ever. And sometimes it's good just to have one purple poison in conjunction with Celestial and Joker. It's good. And Sorcerer could search both Joker and Celestial. I would like to play double Iris in this deck, but you don't have enough magicians for that, so we can't do that. And this deck just works out fucking incredible. Two counter traps is the best way. If you played pure Zephyr, you would need to play Zephyr War because then Zephyr Nui turns into two interruptions by itself. You search Zephyr War and use it on the same turn. If you guys want to see a pure Zephyr deck, I am posting on my Patreon a pure Zephyr deck later this week. So you guys can go check that out. It's going to be fucking sick. But this is uh, this, is this man. I fucking love this deck. Uh, side deck as well. You, if you look at the last three, six, seven cards, these seven are amazing versus back row. So against back row decks, you remove Droll, Nibiru, uh, maybe even like one random monster. Keep one Veiler at all times because Needle Fiber, Selene, Axis Code. But typically, you don't need Needle Fiber for that. You can just go Needle Fiber or something random. Uh, summon out an Ash Blossom. Just have Ash Blossom on the field. And just go into Selene with a random spellcaster you have. So you don't necessarily always need it. Unicorn is there in the extra in case you don't you can't go Selene for the access code. So it's just good to have another link three for the access code. And this is the extra deck here. The only card I remove in the extra deck would be Zeta. You can remove Zeta for anything else you want. These rank fours are the most important and the best ones. And that's the video. This deck's insane. As I said, I I, I dueled like six, seven, eight matches with this on stream. I won every single one of them except for one match. So I'll post it all if you guys want to see it. And the videos are fucking amazing, man. It's amazing replays. It's so much. It's fucking beautiful. This deck's insane. It really is. It's the only Pendulum deck that could very easily play multiple, multiple hand traps on the main deck and not brick because it's a two card combo deck. He opens up like all these kind of two card combos. All of them. All the Zephyr cards, the Pen Call, the Alliance, the Joker. Harmo, like you don't need you need to pen summon any you just open two of them and you're good because all your goal is just summon Zephyr Nui. If you summon Zephyr Nui, you're fine. Search Zephyrath and any get Zephyrath and any low skill two card combo. Pen summon Zephyr Nui, you're set up for the rest of the of the, of the whole duel. Pen summoning one Zephyr Nui sets you up for the entire duel. So that's the deck. Uh, you could also, if you really want, if you think it's too many hand traps, you could remove one Nibiru and then include uh, Zephyraxitin. 
to give another skill seven for the for Zephyr, Zephyrath. But whenever it gets to the point where you run out of skill sevens and the Zephyrath to skill five clogging it, you use Sork to pop it. And Sork again could use twice with Joker and Celestial. But only use it once per turn. Turn one, use Sork to pop Joker. Turn two, use Sork to pop Celestial. And that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. It's really fun to play a controlled version of Pendulums for once. So it, it's awesome. Check out the Patreon as well down in the description below if you guys want to check out the best Pendulum training in the game. Like I said, 15% off for all yearly members. Highly recommend you get the best value and that is the yearly membership. So go check that out and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace!